Say hi, Jimmy. Hi. <laughs> um, we painted last night. We started to paint. Something that I'm painting needs something else. And by the time I realized it, it was too late to buy it. So we're out semi-early. We slept in. But we're out semi-early to go get that. And we're going to get some coffee. And yeah. And then today we're just going to like paint and do stuff around the house um and at some point this weekend i'm gonna work on my curtains and i'm hoping that my office will be done like the big things done um pretty soon i uh am gonna order probably some prints and stuff those won't be here for a while so i'm not gonna wait until i have stuff on the walls too um, show you guys what it looks like and now I'm hyped it up so much that like I feel like it might be disappointing so I hope it's not but um yeah I'll I can show you guys um what Jimmy's painting because it's not for my office um so I'll take some video of that later okay I had this coffee table and it was originally was it brown brown it was brown and Jimmy painted it black how many years ago Eight, nine, ten. A long time ago. And now we decided we want to reuse it. And so we're painting it white to move into our living room. So we'll see how this goes. Jimmy's hard at work in our messy garage. Tonight I am going to test cooking frozen chicken in the Instant Pot. Um, these are just chicken breast tenders and they are frozen. So basically what I'm going to do is put these in the Instant Pot and I read online that you can, you have to have liquid in the Instant Pot and you can just season the water. So I just have this seasoned with some coarse pepper. Uh, pepper is my favorite so there's a ton in there and then of course a little bit of salt. I'm prepping this for salad. So I'm gonna put this in. So one thing I would recommend doing is opening your chicken as soon as you buy it and then putting them in freezer bags or the freezer, you know, cling wrap or whatever because this of course is frozen to the chicken and I basically had to uh, break it apart and run some water on it to get this off. So this is probably gonna be the most difficult part of, you know, cooking the frozen chicken. So yeah, don't do that. All right, I've got my tenderloins in there with the seasoned water. And now I'm going to put the lid on. And make sure you lock it. Make sure that this little valve is turned to seal because this is where the pressure releases when you're ready for that. So make sure it's turned to sealed. And then we're going to hit the poultry button. Now it said what I when I read online to do 10 minutes, but mine are breast pieces, but they are connected right now. So I wasn't ready for that. I wasn't ready for that because I didn't set the time. Um, so let me do this. You think I should do 10 or eight, Jimmy? Do nine. It's connected, yeah, I'll do nine. Okay, so that will come up to pressure and then cook and I will let you know how long it takes and how it goes. See what time is it right now? Let me see your watch, Jimmy. 17. Put it over here. 8.17. Is it 8.17, Bentley? It is, isn't it? Okay. Just finished. Let me see your watch, Jimmy. Okay, so 19 minutes. And we're going to do quick release. All right, it's done. And the silver thing is down, which means the pressure is um what non-existent non -existent. take off 
this lid. Eee. There's my chicken. I'm gonna temp it. Make sure that it's at least 160. Wide open. Thank you. Let's see here. It is over 200 degrees. <laughs> so it is definitely overcooked. Um, may have to do less time since it's smaller pieces. But you know what? Frozen to cooked in 19 minutes, I will take it. I'm gonna shred it up now and get it ready for my salads for lunches this week. Oh, it might help if it's plugged in, huh guys? Okay, let's try this again. shredded chicken all right guys from frozen to cooked shredded ready to eat chicken in 20 25 minutes um, I would suggest putting salt in the water at least because food needs salt to bring out its flavor um, but as for the pepper you can see a lot of it was left in the pot and so I added a little bit more when I got it out when I was shredding it um, or before I shredded it so it has seasoning, whatever seasoning you like. Uh, yeah, I would suggest doing it after cooking other than the salt. Put salt in the water. Okay. I say, here, I guess I should taste it. Yep, that's good. Another instant pot success. 